suis cadu Courage Europe et Rélida Welcome to another video with Viking Rogalan. This, in this video, I will show you how to install the piston rings and the piston successfully on the uh, Taiwanese-made Suzuki GP125 cylinder. Maybe you can apply this to other cylinders uh, as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Uh, the music you heard in the beginning is from mods. Back in 1981, Mods is from my town of Stavanger in Norway. Okay, and it says you are a failure, but of course you are not a failure. If you look at this video, then you're gonna be successful. Thank you very much. Good luck. Okay, so here, here we are with two cylinder blocks made in Taiwan, Suzuki GP100, and uh, this is how they look inside, here is the exhaust port. And these two big holes on the side, they are intake. Here in the back is some intake. And on the sides, you have the ones that come and deliver the gas. So anyway, here is a GP125 piston, 56 ml. If you see this always on pistons, if you have this arrow it means that it's gonna point it's gonna point towards the exhaust okay now this kind of cylinder is very <coughs> sensitive obviously because I thought I had put the piston rings correctly but when I put it down it first will stop in one of these places so you must squeeze the ring and then when it goes further down, it's actually stuck in one of these ports. So, um, I don't know if this is going to be filmed or not, because I don't have any film crew here. But, as you can see here, we have uh, two piston rings, and uh, usually when I work with two-stroke engines, I'm very happy to just put the ring, I don't care which one is upper or lower, but in this case, obviously, that really matters. Now, piston rings are very easy to break, very easy to break, so you need to take a lot of care when you are working with piston rings. Okay, so this is the one that was on top. And this is the one on the bottom. So, just using my nails and hope and pray always that it's not gonna break. But you know, these guys, they are really into breaking. 
Okay. Last time I broke one was in 1982 on the Suzuki A100. So, anyway, we have now the piston cleared of the rings. And uh, the guy in the spare parts shop here in, in the Philippines, he told me that you can find out which ring is is the lower. The lower is the one that is easiest to compress. Okay, so this is harder to compress and this is easier to compress. And this was on the top side. Okay, so if this is easier, uh, it's very difficult to say. I don't know. I don't really know. Let me see this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> I really am not sure which one of these. Anyway, I will I will just change the um, the position. So, and of course, if you put this the wrong way, upside down, whatever, it will not it will not uh, be compressed properly in the groove. So let's hope that this is put the correct way. If you see here in the groove, there is a small, can you see that small stopper there? And if we can push it all the way like this, that means yes, at least the ring is in the correct way. It don't, I don't need to turn it upside down. If you cannot push it, closely like this then the ring must be turned upside down let's hope now and pray that <laughs> this will work uh, so here you see that stopper as I told you about and we will just fit the ring and check this one also yeah you see it's coming all the way okay so now according to everything this stuff this is the arrow you know so I will hold this stuff like this and then I will first you take the First you take the, the first ring, of course, obviously. And so I need to hold it, squeeze it here. And then this one there, okay. Let's try to, to squeeze it from the side. Just this. And Let's see what happened. I put a little bit of stroke oil inside here. So this one, when it was wrong put, when it comes here, it will it will stop, and it seems to be stopping again. But I squeeze here on the side. Hmm. You see this one? Yeah. Let's see if I can get it through. It seems like it's blocked like before. The guys in the Suzuki shop, they promised me everything is fine. Just put the, or the spare part shop, just put the ring correctly. <laughs> well. you can see here it is blocked there just like it was before I don't know why and now you see I was able to squeeze it let's see how it goes down okay so now it should go all the way down through the cylinder you no know, blocking so here it is looks good looks good okay but I had to sneak it in there this uh, the rings on this one is not a genuine Suzuki while on this one we have genuine 
Suzuki. So this, okay, I will just try. You can see me here. I will try to. I will try to put the piston a little bit back and forth. And it seems like it's working. Okay. If you see here, can you see here? That is how the piston goes. You see the exhaust canal, that is the one there, and the intake canals. So that is the exhaust canal, and this is uh, from the back, and there is a hole in the piston in these GP100 and 125 cylinders. So it seems to me as though it's working. Okay, so I hope you I hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> like me, I learned my lesson. And um, these pistons are going to work fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.